Hi, this is Art Workatine with RISC. Today I'm going to demonstrate a CMI5 block structure for lessons. Uh, here in the VTA Learner System, uh, I've got a main block called My Lesson Block, which contains two child assignable units, um, one of which is optional. You can see there's no checkbox in the required column, uh, and one of which I've already completed. Uh, it also contains another block. Uh, which in turn contains a third level block and finally another assignable unit. Uh, this is kind of an interesting structure because when I finish off child uh, 3 uh, meet its move on criteria I will actually be completing three blocks uh, level 3 block, level 2 block and my lesson block and we'll see how we have to handle that in a CMI5 runtime uh, engine environment. Uh, the other thing I've got in this class is I've got to take the class lesson, uh, a post-class test, and evaluation. These are not CMI5 lessons, so in VTA we can blend CMI5 assignable units uh, with other traditional uh, VTA lessons. So let's see how this works when we go ahead and finish off uh, the Child 3 assignable unit. I'll click Run to full, pull up our AU simulator. Uh, this is free source code that you can download from GitHub if you want to see uh, how to send statements as a content developer. Uh, this is a good example uh, that's free for you to download. And I'll give the link to download that at the end of this presentation. First thing I need to do is fetch the authorization token. That's got to be embedded in the header of every statement that I send. Uh, that's my authority to send to the learning record store. Then I'm going to get my state document that was written by the LMS because this has some information I need. Uh, for example, I need to know that I've got to send both completed and passed statements for this assignable unit in order to get credit. Uh, and then I've got my return URL to go back to the LMS when I'm done. Because uh, you can see here on the screen that the LMS is actually gone. It opened the assignable unit in the same window that the LMS was running. Uh, and then I've got to return back to the LMS when I've done. And that's just part of the CMI5 uh, spec definition. Next I'll get the agent profile document which at this point contains only my language preference uh, and I can go ahead and start sending statements. So I've got to send an initialized statement first. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and remember I said I had to send both completed and passed in order to get credit for this inside the LMS. So I'll do that now. Now I could also send a result object with one of these statements, not with both. Um, but I'm not really caring because the mastery score on this particular AU is zero, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll send a completed, I'll send a passed, uh, and finally I'll terminate uh, my uh, CMI5 assignable unit. And now I'm ready to return back to the LMS. And you can see I've got credit for uh, lesson three, uh, and we need to see what happened in the uh, LRS at this point. So let me go look at the statement viewer. And here's the uh, course of our session. We had the launched, which was written by the LMS itself. The initialized, we wrote in the assignable unit. Uh, we sent a completed statement. We sent a pass statement. And then our CMI5 runtime engine detected that we were in a block and that we finished the block. So block number three received a satisfied statement. Uh, which in turn finished off block number two, so a satisfied statement was sent for that as well. And then finally that finished off the highest level block, uh, so we had to send a satisfied statement for that in our runtime engine. Uh, and then finally we've got the terminated coming in from the assignable unit itself. Uh, so that's an example of a block structure in CMI5 and how you have to handle it in a runtime engine. Uh, if you'd like to get more resources, uh, you can look at the CMI5 spec. Here's a link to that. Uh, there's actually some good reference articles there uh, in the README file on CMI5 if you'd like to learn more about it. Uh, and then our AU simulator, uh, the free source code for that is available at the address shown there uh, on our GitHub account. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.